Hey, let's look at the sciatic nerve anatomy just quickly so we all know where we're at and what we're dealing with here. As you can see, this is obviously a bit of a sagittal view, so we're looking from the side or the lateral. We can see the spinal cord here. We can see all the intervertebral discs here. So if we've obviously got any intervertebral disc pathologies, so they will push up against the spinal cord. Um, as we come down and I turn okay a little bit into that lateral area then you can see all the lumbar plexuses in there okay these are all the deep external rotators here's our quadratus femoris here as well so all of these areas here can feed back into that sciatic nerve now if i come back around to the back then we can see this big yellow structure here that's our sciatic nerve okay so we can see how it comes underneath the piriformis i'm sure that you're all aware that there are a certain amount of the population where it actually comes through under and through the actual piriformis themselves so those people are obviously a little bit more prone to piriformis syndrome obviously we come down here and we start to traverse through in between the hamstrings so this is an area of restriction and peripheral nerve entrapment so we're going to talk about treating those areas here it delves down a lot more deeper as it comes in behind the knee itself the popliteal then comes a out into the medial portion of our calf okay so we're coming down here that tibial portion and then wraps into the medial there